Hey all, Mal here. So today I'm going to go through a Winhance Windows 11 debloating tool just to see if it improves things on my system and also if it helps out on Microsoft Flight Sim as well or any of the sims that I use. So to get the tool, it's a free tool that you can download. It's on the screen here. You just go to winhance.net and click on download just download it to wherever you usually download things to open the tool get this little protection thing up it's normal because it's not certified for windows but run anyway installed for all users i normally install it you can read all this if you want to read the license nobody ever reads it really <laughs> and install it into whatever folder you want to install it to next thing gives you an option for a portable one i just left it perform a regular install and let it install and it should go through its thing fairly quick and we'll launch it now what this utility does is it allows you to customize Windows 11 to remove apps, to unremove apps, different things like that. I'll put a link in the description below to a, another YouTuber that has done a really in-depth thing in it, but I'm not going to in-depth, in I'm not going to go that in-depth into it. I'm just going to quickly run over it on my own machine. So here we go, when it opens up, as I say, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can install apps, uninstall apps. You can optimize things, turn things off, on in your system. You can customize it. Uh, so if we go here, it explains exactly what it does. So it's does what it says on the 10 sort of thing. You can install items, uninstall items, debloat all this crap that Microsoft decides that everybody wants to use, but nobody ever uses, <laughs> like um, mail and calendar. Okay, there's a few things we might use here. Microsoft flam, 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 flam. Microsoft Family <laughs> Safety and um, to-do lists. Whoever uses to-do lists? Does anybody out there ever use a to-do list? I don't think so. Now, the only thing is there's a couple of things on here that if you remove them, like this tips thing, you can't actually use this to reinstall it again. It'll tell you up here on the little menu what you can't on install, reinstall, Office Hub and Paint 3D. So if you remove those three, you're not going to be able to install them through this. But other than that, everything that you remove, you can add back in again if you decide to come across and go, crap, I actually need it now that I've removed it. But what you can, what I would advise is not to have all. If you want a clean system with nothing on it, select all. And it'll uninstall everything that you see here on the screen. But I would advise is to select unselect all go through all the apps decide on which ones that you need or you think you need and which ones you don't need as i say it's safe to uninstall the ones that don't have that little red arrows with a dash through it because you can install those all again or you can install them through the winhance uh, so I would go through, I'm going to go through all these and decide on what ones that I don't need and uninstall them and see does it speed up or does it help with memory usage and all that on the machine while I'm using the Sims and using the machine itself. As I say, I'll put a link in the description below. There's a mic unboxing that goes through it really in depth goes through every single step of what to do but i'm going to try it and see if it actually improves things for me or not
So we'll go through this and I'll come back and see what I've removed or what I decide to remove. All right, so I've gone through a couple of things. Now, one thing I did notice that I didn't mention was the little red shows you, the little red circle shows you it's not installed. So I ticked it anyways, I know it's not installed. Uh, a lot of crap that Microsoft put on. Mail and calendar, I don't know who uses that. <sighs> Sticky notes, eh. Cortana, yeah, you can go. Alarms and clocks, <sighs> I've gone through them all and just removed. As I say, you can always put them back on again. Windows. Open SSH clients. Steps recorder. Don't use that. Uh, Hyper-V isn't installed. And then you can go down here and you can install a whole load of stuff. Or uninstall a whole load of stuff. External things to Windows. And the only funny thing down here is it doesn't recognize that I've got Chrome installed. So there's no little dot like up here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll uninstall all of this crap, first of all. We selected all them. I haven't gone to customization yet. Uh, following things, yes. Now it will go off and it will remove, including this stupid Microsoft Edge. <laughs> I hate Microsoft Edge. And I don't think Microsoft Edge should force you to install, have Microsoft Edge on, but then again, it's their operating system so they can do whatever the hell they want. But it will uninstall all of this. Okay, so we'll give that a couple of minutes. It seems pretty quick. I guess I should have opened up Task Manager to see does it reduce any memory. Well, we're not doing much. We're recording with OBS, so that'll take up some memory. But it's uninstalling things down here. As you can see, I have a whole load of crap in the background processes that I probably don't need to be running. So that takes a little while to remove all this stuff. And as soon as that's done, we'll come back and we'll look at the optimize and the customized parts of this. Okay, so that didn't take too long at all to remove all that crap off the machine. It gives you a little list here when it's done. Now, one thing I did forget to say was up here on the top, you can actually save the configuration that you do here on your computer. So all these apps that you remove and everything, you can click on the little save, and save the configuration somewhere for yourself. Now the good thing with that is, let's say we put it in here to a new folder, so I know what it says. So we'll put it in here under my iDrive under Winhance. Okay, the good thing with that is that if you want to configure another machine with all the apps that you've removed here, you can just simply install Winhance on that machine, go into that Winhance and import the configuration that you exported from here. So that everything that you do here from removing apps and customizing, optimizing can be done on the other machine as well. So you can have all your machines. If you've got multiple machines like I have, you can have them all with the same apps removed. And as I say, don't be worried about removing these because you can use this Winhance to add them back in again if you realize, oh crap, I removed something that I need. The only ones that you will have a bit of difficulty is the little red can't reinstall ones. So you need to be careful with those. I'm sure when it says you can't reinstall them, it doesn't mean that you can't ever reinstall them somehow, but you can't reinstall them with this app. You'd have to go and find out how to reinstall them manually some other way. So even if you did make a mistake and uninstall one that you can't reinstall from here, I'm sure with a bit of Googling, you can actually work out how to reinstall it again.
Now that we've got rid of a load of that crap that we never use, the next button you can go into is optimize. So as you can see in here in optimize, you've got a whole load of crap, a whole load of stuff that you can optimize. And pretty much um, make your machine run a lot, lot better than it's running already. Again, Mike went through it on his web, on his stream or on his recording. Yeah, so I'll put the link, like I said, in the bottom, in the description. So you can re you can watch his one in depth. So I'm going to go through here and see what I can optimize to run the machine. And we'll come back as soon as I get that done. So as I say in here in the customization, this handles all the registry. So you can optimize, sorry, not customization, optimization. So if you hover over them, you'll see the registry key is talking about. So under local machine. So you can turn off and turn on a lot of different things on here. Notifications, I've always never notified me. <laughs> so you can turn them all off, you can turn them all on, whatever you want to do. Privacy settings, again, you can go through all the privacy settings, decide what ones you want. That's the little pop-up that you see coming up when you're trying to access your mic, when something is trying to access it, like your webcam or something like that. So you can switch that off if you don't want that on. Gaming and performance is probably the tab that most of us who are simming or flight simming or truck simming or anything like that or gaming will spend most of the time here trying to decide what might help the sims to improve their performance and turn game mode on and off and turn you see is there anything here a lot of this stuff is remote assistance you can turn that off actually i'll turn that off i don't need remote assistance game mode i've left on some people like it on some people say it's off game bear control so all the things you hear about people about optimizing for gaming is in here a lot of them are in here and turn them off with a click or turn them back on again windows updates again you can decide what update you want to do what way you want windows to update you can delay security updates for seven days if you want power settings hybrid hibernate i don't know why hibernates on on a desktop pc normally laptops power throttling let me switch that off as well so i can have all those off uh Explore, you can switch things on and off and explore as well. Pretty much you can go through, optimize your system, sounds. Don't really need all these sounds. Again, if you find that, I'll turn these all off. If you find that something goes radically wrong with your sound after you've turned it off, you know that you've turned it off, so you can come back in here again, turn it back on again. Um, and then the next thing, so you can go through all of those. The next thing is customize. Now in here in customize, you can customize Windows to look. If you are so in love with Windows 10, you can customize it to look like Windows 10 again. So you can move the buttons and things around the taskbar and things like that. Drop shadows, you can just, yeah, all different things, customize things like that. But hopefully, the main thing I used it for is to remove software off that you don't, apps that you don't use that are sitting in the background on Windows using up resources and also uh, you can install as well so if you go to the external software and you click on you want to install firefox you can just click on firefox and click install selected item so it'll go off and find the firefox for you and install it from here 
and I can uninstall it as well. So hopefully this will improve the performance on my system and hopefully it might help a few of you out there that also want to take off the bloat their Windows 11 system make it run a bit better and as always if you have any questions or anything just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you but for now I think that is how long has that been? 15 minutes. That's long enough to listen to me going on about this Winhance. Again, you can download it from winhance.net and go through all the options. And hopefully it helps a few people. And I'm out of here and we will talk to you later. Bye. Where's that button? How can I turn this thing off?